Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Camera almost fell there. Hello, Facebook again. Uh, today I'm going to discuss the Teen Choice Awards 2011 nominees and who I think is going to win. Because you can vote online every day until the Teen Choice Awards that air this Sunday at 8 p.m. only on Fox. Big names are going to be there, uh, including WWE superstars John Cena, who's the current WWE champion, and former WWE champion and so-called must-see superstar in WWE history, The Miz, are going to be there with big names such as Selena Gomez, Justin Bieber. So there's a lot of teen sensation singers that will be out there celebrating what is our night, Teen's Choice Awards. So I'm going to discuss that, but first, um, what happened in college... Um, is that I took my final exam in math class and I it was 30 questions multiple choice thank God and was on the computer don't usually take a final exam on the computer especially for a math one and I got 21 out of 30 I needed 24 out of 30 to pass and I got only 21 out of 30 so I was really really close learned from my mistakes as my professor showed my mistakes I'm gonna retake it tomorrow I'm gonna get it this time and uh, I'll pass the class for sure um, all right, now we're going to take a look at the Teen Choice Awards nominees as I'm going to vote for all the categories right now. Hopefully you can see the computer screen. If not, the words, I'll just show you who I'm going to vote for. Here we go. All right, as you can see, for Best Action Movie, there is Fast Five, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, Unstoppable, Faster, and The Tourist. I did not see any of these movies. I thought Scott Pilgrim vs. the World was stupid. Faster? Not sure. The Tourist looked kinda good. Unstoppable looked good. But I did see the last 10 minutes of Fast Five as I snuck into the movie theater with my dad before our movie started. So I am gonna pick Fast Five. Not because The Rock is in it. <laughs> For Best Actor in Action Movie, you got Johnny Depp for The Tourist. Good actor. Dwayne Johnson for Fast Five and Faster. Paul Walker for Fast Five. Vin Diesel for Fast Five. And Michael Sarah for Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. I did like Michael Sarah, who I believe played um, Mark Zuckerberg in The Social Network, but Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, I just did not think he was really good in that movie. But then again, I didn't see the movie, and I say a lot about... I say that a lot about movies, and I end up liking the movie. So we'll see once I see that movie someday. Vin Diesel, Fast Five. I am going to vote for him because of his um, resume in action movies. Uh, he is pretty good, so I'm going to vote for him. Best Actress in an Action Movie, Angelina Jolie for The Tourist. I'm not going to vote for that big lips, stupid actress. Carla Gugino for Faster. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Jordana Brewster for Fast Five. Rosario Dawson for Unstoppable, and Mary Elizabeth Winstead for Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I'm going to vote for Rosario Dawson for Unstoppable, because frankly, uh, she is good looking. Um, best Comedy Movie. Well, this is really good. I did see two of the movies of these five nominees. You got Little Fuckers, Due Date, Bridesmaids, Bad Teacher, and the other guys. As much as I loved Little Fockers, Bridesmaids was the funniest, the funniest out of these movies, even though it is a chick flick, but it was also considered a guy's flick too. So, correct me if I'm wrong, Bridesmaids is going to win that category. Best Actor in a Comedy, Ed Helms for The Hanover Part 2, Russell Brand for Arthur, Justin Timberlake for Bad Teacher, Will Ferrell for The Other Guys, and Zach Galifianakis for The Hanover Part 2 and Due Date. I am going to pick Russell Brand. I did not see Arthur, but he is very, very funny in his movies. I did not see The Hanover Part 2 either, including also Hanover 1. I did not see the first one, so a lot of people are surprised I haven't seen The Hanover ever. Um, best Actress in a Comedy, Cameron Diaz for Bad Teacher, Christian Wiig for Bridesmaids, Anna Ferris for Take Me Home Tonight, Eva Mendez for The Other Guys, and Maya Rudolph for Bridesmaids. Kristen Wiig and Maya Rudolph from Bridesmaids, they're both, um, one's a former SNL star and one's a current SNL star. Kristen Wiig is the current SNL star and Maya Rudolph is the uh, former SNL star. I'm, I'm going to pick Kristen Wiig uh, for Bridesmaids because she was hilarious as much as Anna Faris is very, very uh, beautiful and funny, bless her heart, as well as Evan Mendez for the other guys, very funny. Cameron Diaz, she can do it all. 
uh, in every type of movie. She is also funny and bad teacher. I did not see that movie, but I did see Bridesmaids. So I am going to pick Kristen Wiig. She is just a hilarious actress. Best drama film, Water for Elephants, The Roommate, Limitless, Soul, Sur Soul Surfer, and Black Swan. Um, I'm not going to... I haven't seen any of these movies, but I do want to see Black Swan. I've heard a lot of good stuff about it. I am going to pick that because that scene with Amelia Kunis and <laughs> Natalie Portman. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to say that. Uh, that is a good scene. That's the best scene of the movie. Um, best actor in a drama, Bradley Cooper for Limitless, Cam Gigandit for The Roommate, Jesse Eisenberg for The Social Network, Robert Pattinson for Water for Elephants, and Shia LaBeouf for Wall Street 2, Money Never Sleeps. Well, Shia LaBeouf is a great actor, but Wall Street 2, Money Never Sleeps really was a failure in the movie theater, I think. Robert Pattinson for Water for Elephants, yeah, he may get that award due to his Twilight followers. Jesse Eisenberg for The Social Network, I think that is the guy who played Mike, uh, Mark Zuckerberg. It is. He does look like Michael Cera a little bit. Uh, I am going to vote for him because I did see that movie in TV production class in my senior year of high school, and that movie was just terrific, and he was a great part for it. Best Actress in a Drama Film, Reese Witherspoon for Water for Elephants, Minka Kelly for The Roommate, Anna Sophia Robb for Soul Surfer, and Natalie Portman for Black Swan, and Leighton Meester for Or Country Strong. Um, Reese Witherspoon is a good actress. I did not see Water for Elephants. I did hear a lot of good things about it. I did not see Country Strong. Uh, Natalie Portman, Black Swan, I, from the clips that I've seen, she seems that she's very um, intertwined with the character that she is playing, and she does a great job of that, so I'm going to pick that. Romantic comedy film, No Strings Attached, Just Go With It, Life As We Know It, Something Borrowed, and Easy A. Easy A looked kind of funny uh, when I saw previews for it, but then we also have Just Go With, Just Go With It. And that looked really funny, too. And Jennifer Aniston is really known for her comedy uh, or comedic performances after being on the show of Friends and all these type of movies. Um, I am going to pick Easy A, even though I've never seen it. But from what I've seen, it just looks really, really funny. I would like to see it sometime. Best Actor in a Romantic Comedy Film, Ashton Kutcher for No Strings Attached, Adam Sandler for Just Go With It, Penn Badgley, Easy A, Josh Duhamel for Life As We Know It, and John... Krensenke, sir, something borrowed. I'm going to pick Adam Sandler. Um, again, a lot of these movies I did not see, only a couple. Uh, and Adam Sandler is just a really, really funny guy. He can do whatever type of comedy movie that he wants to, uh, and he can just win you over. He is really good. Uh, best actress in a romantic comedy film, Natalie Portman for No Strings Attached, Jennifer Aniston for Just Go With It. Jennifer Goodwin for Something Borrowed, Emma Roberts for The Art of Getting By, and Emma Stone for Easy A. I am going to vote for Jennifer Aniston for Just Go With It, even though I did not see that movie. Um, I do remember watching her in Along Came Polly, and she's just funny. She's just a very funny actress. Best Sci-Fi Fantasy Film, Super 8, X-Men First Class, The Twilight Saga Eclipse, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, Pirates of the Caribbean, Stranger Tides. Okay, this is not going to be an easy category, folks. Don't, don't go away. I mean, don't go right away and say The Twilight Saga Eclipse. You also have Harry Potter and the Pirates of the Caribbean and X-Men, and who can just ignore Super 8. People are going to vote. This is going to be a very, very close category, but I am going to go with... Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. I didn't see it, but I'm sick of seeing Twilight winning. Best Actor Sci-Fi Fantasy Film. Robert Pattinson for The Twilight Saga Eclipse. Ryan Reynolds for Green Lantern. Daniel Radcliffe for Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. Taylor Lautner for The Taylor Lautner, the Twilight Saga Eclipse. Girls are going to kill me when I say his name wrong. Johnny Depp, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. Um, Daniel Radcliffe does a great job. I guarantee you the outcome of this category that Robert Pattinson or Taylor Lautner will win. Uh, but in this case, I am going to vote for Johnny Depp, Pirates Can't Be on Stranger Tides, Ryan Reynolds uh, for The Green Hornet. Really, I'm sorry, not The Green Hornet, Green Lantern. I, I think people get those two movies confused with each other. Um, just not one of his best performances in his career so far. Best Actress in a Sci-Fi Fantasy Film, Penelope Cruz for Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides, Kristen Stewart for the Twilight Saga Eclipse, Blake, <coughs> Blake Lively for Green Lantern, Elle Fanning for Super 8, and Emma Watson for Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. I can almost guarantee the outcome, as, I, as, I, as I've seen it in, in the past. Kristen Stewart may take this one, but I am going to choose 
Emma Watson for Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. Harry, you're going to get hurt, Harry. Yeah. Uh, hor best horror film. Okay, here we go. Uh, Paranormal Activity 2, Piranha 3D the sequel, dumb movie. Let Me In, didn't see it. Saw 3D the final chapter or Scream 4. I did not see Scream 4. I heard mixed reviews about it. Saw 3D the final chapter, best of the series. Really went out big and strong. Paranormal Activity 2, I kept the volume down on my TV. That's how scared I was. But for quality of the horror in those films, I'm going to pick Saw 3D The Final Chapter. Literally the best in the series, even though I really couldn't stomach it at all. Best Villain. Bryce Dallas Howard for The Twilight Eclip Saga Eclipse. Leighton Meester for The Roommate. Ian McShane for Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. Kevin Bacon for X-Men First Class. And Tom Felton for Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Kevin Bacon has known for playing... Good villains, including the Hollow Man, who could ever forget the Hollow Man, Kevin Bacon. But Tom Felton, he's he, he seems like a really good uh, villain. Um, you know, especially like when he says Potter. You know, it's really funny. It's like he's gonna spit into the camera. What are you doing here, Potter? You know, so it's really funny. So I'm gonna vote for him. Best animated movie voice: Zachary Levi for Tangled, Justin Timberlake for Yogi Bear, Johnny Depp for Rango, Anne Hathaway for Rio, and Jack Black for Kung Fu Panda 2. I can't stand Jack Black, but he is funny in Kung Fu Panda 2. I just can't stand watching him, but I can listen to his voice over a character. Johnny Depp Rango. Johnny Depp really doesn't do a lot of animation films, uh, so it was interesting to see him back in the animation studio for this one. Justin Timberlake, again, I don't think he's ever done an uh, animation film. Correct me if I'm wrong. Justin Timberlake for Yogi Bear, I'm going to vote because he did sound funny. Even though I didn't see that film. Scene Stealer Male. I'm going to let the girls really choose this one. Ken Gion, The Hanover Part 2. That guy is hilarious, I will admit. Justin Timberlake for The Social Network. Andrew Garfield for The Social Network. Riley Griffiths for Super 8. And Kellen Lutz, The Twilight Saga Eclipse. I'm going to choose Justin Timberlake, The Social Network, because uh, he played a great role in The Social Network. Scene Stealer Female. <laughs> Mila Kunis for Black Swan. Melissa McCarthy for Bridesmaids. Ashley Green, The Twilight Saga Eclipse, Allison Machaka for The Roommate, Easy A, and Crystal the Monkey for Hanover Part 2. That is a weird name. Who names their daughter Crystal the Monkey? Okay. Oh, oh, it's a monkey. Oh, I'm, I feel so dumb now. It's actually a monkey. I'm sorry, Crystal. All right. Um, I would want to say Mila Kunis for Black Swan, but I really want to say Melissa McCarthy for Bridesmaids because, girls, if you've seen Bridesmaids, Melissa McCarthy steals the movie. Best Hissy Fit. Ed Helms for The Hanover Part 2, Kristen Wiig for Bridesmaids, Mark Wahlberg for The Other Guys, Robert Downey Jr. for Due Dates, and The Alien Super 8. I'm going to pick Kristen Wiig for Bridesmaids because she had a really funny hissy fit in the film, and it was just so funny. You have to see it when that movie comes out on DVD, what she does. Best Lip Lock. Kristen Storr and Robert Pattinson for The Twilight Saga Eclipse. I, I really wouldn't call that kissing, but I really would call it, like, I don't know. Kristen Storr and Taylor Lautner for the Twilight Saga clips. Uh, they had to put both pairs in there? Oh my god. Emma Watson and Daniel Radcliffe for Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. Alex Pettifer for and Vanessa Hudgens for Beastly. And Mila Kunis and Natalie Portman for Black Swan. I am sorry for you Twilight fans. I'm going to choose Mila Kunis and Natalie Portman for Black Swan. I'm sorry. That is the best lip lock I've ever seen. Chemistry. Best chemistry. <laughs> Ed Helms, Zach Galifianakis, and Bradley Cooper for The Hanover Part 2, The Super 8 Crew, Super 8, X-Men First Class, Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston, Just Go With It, and Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg for The Other Guys. I did not see The Other Guys. I still want to see that movie terribly, and Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg make a great fair um, comedy pair. Breakout Female, Brooklyn Decker for Just Go With It, Hallie Stangfield for True Grit, Jennifer Lawrence, X-Men First Class, Olivia Wilde's Drawn Legacy, and Zoe Kravitz for X-Men First Class class. I did see a little while recently in Cowboys and Aliens. I did not see her in Tron Legacy, but she is a good actress, so I'm going to go for Breakout Female Star. And Breakout Male Star, Alex Pettifer for I Am Number 4, and Beastly, Army Hammer for The Social Network, Chris Hemsworth for Thor, Joel Courtney for Super 8, and Xavier Samuel for The Twilight Saga Eclipse. I don't know any of these people, and I did not see any of these movies, so I'm going to go for The Twilight Fans, Xavier Samuel, which he'll probably win, because Twilight wins everything. 
Uh, I'm going to do the other nominations in different parts because I can only tape 15 minutes of video on YouTube. Uh, until I reach an amount of videos on YouTube, I can do more than 15 minutes. So I'm going to go over the next nominations of Teen Choice Awards in a minute.